AAA is set to launch a brand new rocket early Monday morning from the Cape. Set your alarms, it's like super early. Yes. Launch team leaders just held a pre-launch media briefing within the last hour. Our Space Coast Bureau Chief Scott Heidler was listening in and joins us live right now from the Kennedy Space Center. So what's the update here? Well, they've said that everything is marching forward well. There have been a series of checks and tests over the last several days, and mission managers are happy with what they've seen so far. So now the process pushes on as ULA readies Vulcan for launch in the pre-dawn hours of Monday. Vulcan is set to lift off from the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. It was rolled out to launch pad 4041 this morning for the Certification 1 mission. The countdown and fueling will begin Sunday afternoon at 3. There are important payloads, too, on this test flight, the first commercial mission to soft land on the moon. NASA's part of that was some critical science instruments that will pave the way for the Artemis program's aim for a lunar base. But the majority of the focus come lunchtime, the performance of this new rocket, critical to ULA and the commercial spaceflight industry as a whole. But Vulcan is, is ULA's effort to get back into the game with a more price competitive rocket with US engines that can, can fly frequently. Um, and so yeah, that's, they're going to go out and try to challenge SpaceX and the, and the Falcon family of rockets. And a big part of that challenge taking on SpaceX is yes for this uh, flight, test flight, to successfully execute on Sunday, but also for ULA to step up their pace and their cadence of launches in the next few years. That is a very big challenge for them. Reporting live at the Kennedy Space Center, Scott Heidler, West 2 News.